the formidable robot. Nick Jr. is a television channel loved by millions. However, it has a bad reputation in Orlando, ever since that one broadcast intrusion that has traumatized many children in 2001. I used to work at Viacom International when I was 26, specifically to oversee and monitor the broadcasts on their vast selection of paid television channels. At approximately 12.56 p.m. on August 18, 2001, I found something odd while monitoring a rerun of Little Bear on the Nick Jr. channel. Since I'm nearly deaf, I turned on the closed captions to hear what's going on. All of a sudden, the broadcast suddenly starts to bug out, and out of nowhere, cuts to a still of Little Bear himself, but faceless. I swore I never saw that image in any episode of Little Bear, or any Nick Jr. show for that matter. I had to cut the episode straight to the end credits, but it all gets worse from here. Right when the Nirvana logo showed up, the broadcast glitched again and the visuals cut to a pitch black screen. It stayed that way for a few seconds until it cut back to the closing logos. As the Nick Jr. logo played afterwards, it once again glitched until it cut back to the logo. The two orange and blue characters in the logo stopped moving. The Nick character's Nick text was flipped backwards, and seems to be shivering and shaking like a dog on a winter day. Junior worriedly walked to his orange friend, but Nick stopped shivering, and smiled. It wasn't a happy smile. It was the most disturbing and crooked smile I've ever seen. Junior stops in his tracks and starts to visibly sweat in fear. Nick was mumbling something that was inaudible, at least for me. However, I looked at the captions and saw that Nick was actually saying something that seemed like some sort of riddle. What is stronger? than the human heart, which shatters over and over, and without any reason, it still lives. As Nick was saying this, his limbs start to distort and extend to the point where his arms look bigger than his body. He starts growing strands of hair all over as he grows taller and taller, until only his lower legs are shown on screen. This catastrophic broadcast cuts to black once more for a few seconds before fading into Junior on his knees, crying. Behind him was a creature that was once supposed to be Nick, a tall lanky humanoid apparition with a single bulbous eye and rotten teeth. The creature reveals the answer to the riddle. Me. Before it mauls Junior to death. I was beyond disturbed at this point, and I had to cut the broadcast to a technical difficulty screen. To this day, I am still haunted by this incident. The story about the hijacking has spread around on every news station I could possibly think of, and I've heard that this broadcast intrusion killed many children in Orlando via anaphylactic shock and electrocution to the bone. Nowadays, I'm trying to find a clip of this hijacking online, but all I could find was a single image, a still frame of Nick smiling at Junior, 